Hi everyone, it's Heather with Health Renewed Coaching and I thought I'd give you a few pantry tips for today. Um, one of my favorite things to add with recipes and especially those um, trail mix granola bars that I made a few weeks ago is the almond butter. Um, but do you see, let me get it up close, the oil at the top um, when you first buy a natural peanut butter or almond butter? Um, what I found was a great little trick that I thought I'd share with you. What I do before I use it, and it probably takes, I don't know, you could probably do it in a couple of hours um, or a day, um, but I usually have an extra one on the shelf. So what I do while it's sitting on the shelf and until I need it, is I flip it over. Why? Because then all of that natural oil will you know, work its way to the bottom, and then when you go to stir it, it's not gonna be so hard because down here it becomes very dry and tough and challenging to stir and then you're a lot of times it's falling out of the jar and uh, makes a big mess um, and can be uh, and just too much to deal with so what I found is turn it upside down store it in your pantry or on a shelf or wherever it is that you keep your extras and uh, when you go to stir it next time um, to open this jar it will be so much easier because this will be much more moist and everything else will come together much easier than if you were to just leave it like this and then have all the oil here at the top and then try and stir it and get it down to the bottom. So try that next time. Store it on the top like this and then pull it out of the pantry and uh, you'll be much happier and I bet you'll be thanking me. So my second tip for today is perhaps you have purchased in the past or still purchase Lenders Bagels. Um, now I, haven't, I don't know on all of them, but um, on this particular one, I was looking at the ingredients, and first and foremost, it doesn't fit the five ingredient pantry rule, which when you're buying processed foods, you want to stick with um, a, an ingredient list that is much shorter than this one. Some of them are even longer, um, but you wanna try and stick with five ingredients or less and stick with ingredients that you can pronounce. Because if you can't pronounce them, your body probably doesn't know what to do with it either. And we're just adding chemicals and preservatives and additives to our body that our liver has to filter out and it has enough to do. So try and stick to five ingredients or less on packaged products. And this one, um, it's probably too small, so I will tell you what I found inside here, which I would never think that it would need to be in there, so it was really surprising to me uh, when I saw it. Uh, but it's high fructose corn syrup in bagels. My goodness, what does it need to be in there for? Um, but again, it's a, it's a cheap additive, so it makes things sweet. And there are three grams of, of sugar, so there's approximately just under um, one teaspoon of sugar per, let's see, per bagel, um, which technically isn't a lot, but when you think about all the white flour um, in here, it's, it's just really turning into sugar when you, when you eat it. So not the best choice, especially with high fructose corn syrup in here. So, um, and unfortunately I did not find another swap for you because it's not something that I'm going to uh, recommend, but certainly the, one of the biggest things you wanna look for in processed foods and packaged foods is that high fructose corn syrup. Um, we don't want that in our body. It is not good and I would invite you to join myself and Sabrina, the Wellness Muse, on Tuesday, April 24th. We are going to be talking all about sugar, um, you know, how it started, what it's doing to our body, what can we do to um, start to eliminate it and get it out, um, what are some, you know, really easy steps to start minimizing your intake of sugar. Um, it will even talk about artificial sweeteners and how that affects your body because that's a whole other ball game. So I hope you can join us. Um, check out my website, the My Classes page. Um, you can sign up to join us. It's a free workshop and um, you'll learn a lot. So I really hope to see you there. And um, we will also be following up the class with the seven day sugar detox. So we're gonna guide you through that whole process to help bring your tolerance for sugar down. Because um, a lot of times, you know, most folks are way up here, and so you need a lot of sugar and a lot of sweetness for it to taste good to you. Well, we can bring that way down so that um, sugar and um, sweet things are too sweet, and we can get you to enjoy things that are less sweet, that are healthier for your body, and will bring much more health and vitality 
to your life versus you know all that sugar that's just really causing all kinds of problems so I hope you'll join us um, again visit my page and get signed up it's free to join the class and it's only $35 to join us for the detox which will get you a guide um, a, a meal guide as well and um, it will help give you the support of two health coaches um, that whole seven days in the process as well as a whole community of individuals that um, are going through the process with you so I hope you'll join us and uh, we'll see you next time